look, if you don't like T20, right, you're the weirdo, right, not everyone else, okay, okay, you're a little bit strange, right? let's put it nicely, yeah. and, you know, why not just leave everyone else alone for a while, you know, come back later when you're, I don't know, more evolved or something, you know, like, I don't mind that people don't like T20, but when they're like, you know, need to slam it on the ground and throw it under the bus, it's like, they get a clue, you know, like, did you want to spend more than, I don't know, 10 seconds thinking about it, mate, you know? T20 and Test Cricket are Siamese twins attached at the hip, right? Deal with it. <clears throat> they are formats of the extreme, right? T20 and Tests. The standalone one, if anything's different, it's the, the ODIs, the old 50 over cricket. You know, that's the one that's over there, separate from the others. You know? um, and that should be what the World Cup uh, format is, because the 50 over format, there's no place for a specialist to hide, right? So it's a good all round test Right, but let's get back to the two test formats, right? T20 and test cricket, right? T20's extreme test skills are contained within test cricket, right? Test cricket's extreme test skills, hardly any of them are contained in T20 cricket. So, which format is going to evolve? the test format section, right? It's T20, okay? Test cricket is many tests, right? Let's talk about a couple of those tests. Um, what about the test of, uh, can you um, get a lot of runs in a short space of time? You know? Can you seal the win in the last session on the last day? You know? Can you accelerate at a time of reasonable opportunity and take the game away from the opposition. Okay. Um, can you ensure that you seal the win by accelerating at a time when it's not easy to do so? You know? You know, like, just, you're missing out, you know? You're just, everyone, you know, has the wrong idea sometimes. It happens to everyone, right? If you like test cricket and you don't like T20, so you say, then, you know, unfortunately it's just, don't worry, it's only temporary, right? You just need a bit of a check up from the neck up, you'll be right. Yeah. So I hope you don't realise too late. That's it's kind of embarrassing, you know? Do you not notice or do you know the stats of the guys who turn up in T20 and then magically end up in their test team? Yeah. Like where do you where do you think it's going? Yeah. In 10 years, 15 years time, yeah, how much is test cricket going to look more like T20? Yeah. I mean, you know, it's a movement that probably started with like Dean Jones and Viv Richards, you know, an old Saywag. You know? And it's not going to stop, you know, like I've said. You know, batsmen are like weapons, you know. There's different types of weapons, right, you know. There's old Fezzy, right. 
He's a definite batting weapon. Old for secretary. Hey. <laughs> you know, Fezzi goes out to bat, mate. You know, it's uh, holding the fort. You know, the opposition thinks they got the game in the bag. You know. You ain't winning anything today, mate, because uh, old Fezologist is out there, and uh, it's not going to let you do it. Huh? It's not going to get out. Handy weapon. Yeah. And then there's the, uh, you know, the newest weapon, you know, on the menu. It's the uh, fuckers who just, you know, know how to put foot. You need to have two accelerator pedals in your cricket team. Otherwise, it's not a cricket team, right? And in 10 years' time, you're going to need seven. <laughs>